Hello and welcome to the May Monthly Reset. I got it right this month. <laughs> it's kind of always a weekly vlog actually in addition to it, but this is technically the Monthly Reset. Um, anywho, we're starting it on a Friday because I've actually spent this Monday through Thursday, yes, um, just kind of trying to relax and unwind a little bit when I'm not at work, obviously, and give myself a whole week and a half. Um, but something I did do, mm, I've been trying to post every day because I'm just trying to try out Lemon 8. I don't know if you're on there, um, but I have I have been posting there. So you can go follow me at Pauline Muscat. That's my, my username on there. I need, to, I need to take new profile pictures. I realized I haven't like taken just a profile picture in years. I just haven't. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I've been doing that. I also finished my last book and I started... A new book. It's one that I picked up at one of the little mobile libraries around the town where I live and I'm already on page 164 out of there's like 430 pages. It's a very good book. It's definitely giving rom-com a la 2010s maybe 2008 more like. Remember She's the Man with Amanda Bynes? It's kind of giving that vibe. It's about a, a girl going into a fraternity but she's undercover and doing research for gender studies. That's her major. Honestly, it's really good. I'm really into it. <laughs> but before we really get to the monthly reset, because this is gonna be a different monthly reset a little bit, because I just wanna finish up some projects in addition to the editing, and I wanna edit a little extra for this, because I'm ahead in my editing enough right now that I think I can get ahead in other things so that I have more time, and hopefully can get back to filming videos for Thursday, you know, little bonus videos. I might go to like a every other Thursday I post a bonus video instead of trying to aim for every Thursday because that's just overwhelming. But uh, because I get overwhelmed by my surroundings, aka overstimulated, I got some noise canceling headphones to try out. They were only 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll try to link them below. Yeah, I thought we would open these together. I already cut the fabric, the fabric, the tape. First off, the box is very light. Like they're incredibly lightweight if they're even in here. It's so lightweight I was like, oh, they're not in here, are they? They are in here. That's good. We have a tiny little wire, which I'm guessing is for charging the instructions. And here are the headphones. Oh, nope, we got one more wire. Cause you can choose if you wanna use like wire or not. But they kind of seem like a dupe for that Apple ones. Here, you can see them. Their iJoy on Amazon. They got a little power button up and down volume. They're really soft, really squishy. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my glasses off really quick so I can try them on. Oh yeah, they're definitely noise canceling. <laughs> you know how when your own voice is muffled and you kind of, like you start to shout a little bit? I'm afraid I'm shouting a little bit. But they're very comfortable. I was reading some of the reviews and some people were saying they were too tight. I don't find them too tight. I feel like I can make them a little longer because I kind of have like a pointy head. If you hear my dogs barking, I'm sorry, but I don't. Now they kind of sound like they're whispering. Also, my hair is getting long enough to braid again, which is kind of nice. I'm like at this weird, I want to like cut my hair off and keep it short, but it is nice to be able to style it. I think I honestly just need to make a hair appointment and go see a person who actually does cut hair. <laughs> you know, I have I have a lady I like a lot, so I should just make an appointment. Probably I'll wait till maybe end of summer. I feel like it'll be long enough then to donate it. I don't know. But it is nice that I can braid it now. That's a much gentler hairstyle. I, I do avoid using hair ties like at the base that, you know, cause breakage and I put them very loose on the ends like this. I like to use those ones that are like the curly cue those ones are my favorite. Oh, I really need to have a self-care day. You know where you do all of the things? I need to, I need a all of the things shower. Oh, something else that's fun that's happening this weekend. Um, my neighbor, we're cat sitting for her. So I get to spend, uh, it's only like Sunday morning through Tuesday morning. So Sunday morning, I'm gonna go and hang out with her. I'm gonna bring my coffee in my little thermos 
you know, I think that'll be nice. It is still Friday, so I still have to get some work stuff done, which I'm going to do. And then I'm making pizza tonight. It's pizza night. I'm very excited for that. So I will probably catch you tomorrow, I'm guessing, or maybe on Sunday. I'll, maybe I'll introduce you to the very sweet, lovely cat that I'm babysitting and come up with a game plan for my editing. But I'm gonna try to charge these and get them going. It's exciting to try these out. So that's that for now, and I will see you whenever I have time to check back in. apologize for the angle. I just need to rest my arm <laughs> and I will tell you why. Uh, it's Thursday now and I have had my left arm in a sling. I've had my left arm in a sling every day this week because remember I was talking about how I had shoulder pain and I thought I'd pulled a muscle. Well, I went to the chiropractor. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> uh, you know, like your, your collarbone, your clavicle, where it ties in here in the center, it ties into cartilage. I kind of dislodged it from that a little bit. So it was like partially dislocated. That is why it was so incredibly painful. And often when people do that because the pain radiates like into your chest and your neck, hence why I had that headache for days straight, when you think you're having a heart attack, I just kept lifting weights. So um, don't recommend that, it wasn't fun but I've had to wear a sling and immobilize it when I'm at work so that I don't further irritate it. And that way it also allows it to stay in place. I've been going every other day to the chiropractor to keep popping it back into place and it is staying more and more. And this is like the first day I was able to like put on a shirt without severe pain because it actually stayed in its spot while I was doing that. So that was nice. Also, I don't know if you can help. My hair's, my hair clip, I ordered new hair clips because my hair has gotten long again and I have very, not thick hair. My hair strands aren't thick. They're like, they're pretty thin, but my hair density, my like hairs per square inch on my skull are a lot. And I have voluminous hair, so I need bigger hair clips. But I really like the ones that have a matte finish. So I ordered those and maybe we'll open those up. Oh, I got all of the workout videos edited for this month. I still need to schedule the posts to go up with them, like on Instagram and stuff. And I made a little to-do list. I don't know if you can see it, of everything I need to do. I've been going through my photos. Here, I'll pop it up next to me. See, I've been deleting photos and so proud of myself. Do I only have one gigabyte of open space in my phone? Yes. Did I really wait till the last minute to start doing this? Yes, but nonetheless, <laughs> I'm doing it. So we're slowly getting through that. I also wanna edit next month's workout videos, but I'm gonna do that once I'm done with all of the rest of these things. And then I might take a little break from weekly vlogging and do just like some mini vlogs, you know, enjoy my Saturday, bake some cookies, do a project type of situation. I just need the, the break and the time to just kind of sit and work on things like cleaning out my phone and not feel overwhelmed and like I don't have time. You know, I just have some things I need to tend to, some that are, you know, small, tedious things like that, and some that are bigger projects than that, but I will vlog some of it. It just won't be like, here's the whole week because I need some days. I need some days to just work and it's hard because this is the thing I do for myself. I just don't really have time right now to do stuff for myself. But it, I can tell that if I take this time to focus on work and being organized and just resetting 
in life versus just a monthly reset that I will be much better off in the long run. Um, oh, what else? I finished my book. I finished my, my book that I got from the mobile library and I absolutely loved it. I do want to film a little book review for book talk. I love this book. I let myself finish it on Tuesday because it was a rainy day and I just needed a, a break. Like it was an over, overdue needed break and I only had like 30 pages left. So I just sat, 50, 50 pages left. So I sat and finished it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Oh, well, I have therapy in 30, 40 minutes and then I'm gonna go mow the lawn because I'm going to the chiropractor tomorrow. So I want to try to start to test out my shoulder and see what I can do. And I also have that last privacy fence planner came. I have that to build. I think that covers everything. So now I'm basically just back to work until therapy. And then after therapy, hopefully the battery will finished being charged so I can go mow the lawn. Then I'm back off to work and then I'm back home and hopefully I can finish mowing the lawn when I get home from work because it's supposed to rain for like the next 800 days or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. I will see you when I see you. Oh, oh my goodness. the next day. Um, I'm so happy that I finished mowing the lawn yesterday because it has started raining and it's supposed to rain for like five or six days straight so that's gonna be very fun but thankfully I have a lot of little indoor projects that I need to finish up. That was like the only outdoor thing I needed to do and my shoulder's feeling fine. So I guess the week off of lifting weights overhead that was like the main thing that was upsetting it. I think that worked. Anywho, so this is a product review like part two for the nose things because I put one on my chin which I'd been wanting to try and a friend of mine also wanted me to try. Oh wow. I had a feeling my nose is going to be kind of gunky because I've been having to reapply sunscreen when I go back out in the yard and such. Let's do the chin one. Now I, do, I don't know if my chin one will be that bad. Oh there are a bunch of little ones because like I don't really get huge zits on my chin but I do get clogged pores basically from eating food but there are clearly a bunch. Not like my nose. My nose is the worst but yeah. Okay so it's Friday. We don't actually skate today because we have all three of us have an annual doctor's appointment with the same doctor so we try to stack our appointments so we can get them done all at once because of the drive and then I'm going to the chiropractor after that again for this to keep pushing it back in its lane and then we're home pretty early for the day so I'm hoping I can build the last planner box. I don't know if you remember we had to order one more for upstairs because we were one short. Yeah I have to check my to-do list but um I think that's all for now and I will see you let me start tackling all the projects when I get home later today. Josie brought me this roll of tape, but I really need to clean up my sink has just gotten a little cluttered. There. Much better. And that concludes this vlog. I wanted to wrap it up before I forgot to. Um, didn't get through everything in my to-do list, but I got what needed to be done by my deadline. I do have some things left on my to-do list, but um, I wanted to close out this vlog and say thank you for watching. I post a new vlog every Sunday, noon, Eastern time, and I've I swear I'm gonna get back to posting some Thursday ones. I'm actually planning those out. That's why I want to take the next weekly vlog a little more casually so I can give myself the free time I need to film some bonus stuff. And I'm actually not closing the vlog here because it turned out to be a way more beautiful day than the weather said it was going to. So I'm gonna go on a walk while I have free time and check out all the spring flowers. They've all bloomed like in the, this week and I haven't had time to appreciate them. So we're literally gonna go for a walk and stop to smell the flowers. So please enjoy this little spring floral montage and I will see ya 
when I see ya.